All right, my friends, let's get this game in the mail. There were 11 of you who were interested in Star Trek Expeditions. And as somebody noted in the comments, there is an expansion for this game with some additional characters. Uh, I don't know if it's still available or not, but you might want to look if you play it and you really like it. So let's send this game to... Oh, I got two of them. This one. How about Sylvain Hebert? Oh, I'm so bad with pronouncing names. I'm going to go with Sylvain Hebert. I will email you. Um, uh, probably, hopefully, track you down through the comment you left. And we will figure out where you would like this lovely board game sent to. Now, part two is, okay, so I love giving away these games. I love freeing up room on my game shelf, but I'm a very naughty girl and I keep buying more games. So the latest one I stumbled across that I'm going to try and learn and put a video out for, I thought I would show you Descent. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you can't solo this game. Ha ha ha. Good news on that front. I was tooling around. I love this game. I always play the Overlord. I always have to play the Overlord and I want to play one of the heroes so bad I can taste it. So I was looking at the solo variant that some people have created on Board Game Geek and I was thinking about trying to figure that out when I stumbled upon this. Have you guys seen this? Um, this is called Forgotten Souls. It's a fully cooperative expansion. One to four players for Descent, Forgotten Souls. Now, this is only available through Fantasy Flight Games, through their online printing, as far as I could tell. Um, and it is just one scenario, all right? So this does not uh, mean you can play the base game and all of the expansions with this rule set, but it does give you one scenario to play through without an overlord. So you can do it cooperatively or solo. So I ordered it. I said, what the heck? I'm just going to order it. It wasn't cheap, but I've invested in Descent. I actually have the first edition, the giant box, but I was too weak to pull it out. And I bought a couple of the expansions. That's how much I love, I love dungeon crawls. So this um, cooperative variant comes with a uh, timer track, right? Um, to kind of, to kind of get you, uh, get you moving. And you have doom and fate. And I've just based, I barely, you know, glanced at the rules. So take everything I, I say right now with a grain of salt. But my understanding is doom increases, fate decreases, and if they ever meet, the game ends, right? And you have this loot track so that as you defeat monsters, you're able to pull loot cards. And so this seems like the timer of the game, um, this overlord and loot track. Uh, depends on how many people, of course, you're playing with or characters you're playing with, because you could play this with one person. It also came with um, these cool cards. They're kind of oversized. I don't have a reference card to show you, trust me. They're, they're like the longer cards, right? They're a little longer and wider. And these are the activation cards. So what they've done is you set up the game and you never know which monsters you're going to encounter, right? Normally the Overlord would place them. Well, in this one, you would turn it over and it would show you um, you're going to run up against flesh molders, shadow dragons, zombies, and bark. Hmm. Bark heist. Bark heist. And then how you activate them. Right, how they're going to activate, um, depending on you know which numbers you roll in, in a random generation. So you have a bunch of these cards that activate all the monsters in different ways. All right. That's cool. And you have, what are these called? Um, exploration cards. So you turn these over when you enter certain rooms and it tells you what's going to happen, right? Um, you could 
here's, you know, if you do this, that happened, this trap triggers, whatever. And you also have a timer, so you have so much time to get through, so you're constantly, you know, moving, moving, moving. And there are, I think, 12 of these in total. There are also these oversized cards. And the last, oh no, I'm losing cards. The last thing it comes with are these teeny tiny little, little baby cards. Um, and these look like bad things that happen to you. Ooh, yes, these look like horrible things that happen to you. I don't want to pull these. Um, a nice little reference sheet of how the turn works, monster activation, how to spend the surges you get, right? And the, there are no rules included. You are expected to print out your rules yourself. I just did a quick and dirty grayscale, shrunk it down because I have no ink, because I have small children who print everything. Um, but um, I printed out one page nice so you can see um, if you want to invest the ink levels, you can print these rules out in a really nice, beautiful format that really matches the base game. So I'm excited to dig into this and get a chance to be a hero for once um, and maybe show you guys how the solo variant of Descent works. That'd be fun, right? School is starting, life's getting a little crazy, so no promises on, you know, <laughs> when I get around to it. But it's on my radar, it's on my radar. So winner for Star Trek Expeditions, out in the mail, more room on my game shelf, and another video coming out hopefully soon. If you're interested, go to Fantasy Flight Games, look for Forgotten Souls. Don't know if they're going to do any more of these, but I'm hoping if enough people order them, maybe they'll be inspired to put out more scenarios for this lovely little game. All right, guys, enjoy yourselves. Talk to you later. Bye.